Hi, welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. Now, this is the third video in our series of five videos on Wix ADI. Now, the third video is all about headers and footers. Now, what exactly do these headers and footers do and why might you use them? That's what we're going to explore today. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Welcome back to our Wix ADI website. Now today we're going to look at the header, which can be seen here at the top, and the footer of a website, which is all the way down below, down here. Now the way we can change these headers or footers is by simply clicking on them. So here I now have my footer. I have clicked on my footer and I can change what is displayed at the footer. So here, let's say that I want to change this copyright message proudly created by Wix.com. I'm going to change this copyright by eduflip.net and flipped classroom tutorials, which is my channel. And when I leave this, you can see that the footer is here changed instantly. Now, what is the difference between a section and a header or footer? Well, the header and footer will be present on every single one of your pages. That means that if I change it once, it gets changed on every single page. Now, I can add other information here as a site email. You can see now the email is present as well. I can add a phone number, an address. I can add a subscribe. Now I'm going to turn off the email. I'm going to leave the subscribe in the footer. Now you have different designs for your footer, so I can change the design by clicking on design here. And you can see there are different designs available. I'm going to change it to be this second design. And there we go. We now have a colorful footer with a subscribe right there present. Now let's close our footer and let's scroll all the way up to find our header. Now the header, again, we can click on the header at the top. This is our header image. And here we have our logo and we also have our navigation menu. So what we can do is again, choose a different design for our header. Now I'm going to keep the design as it is, but just to give you an example, we can also use any of these other designs. Here we go, a nice little design with the yellow. Now when we close this, we go back to our website. I can edit the information shown in the header by again, changing the business name or adding a business name, adding a tagline. So I'm going to add a tagline just to show you what that looks like. We're going to turn this on. And the tagline is going to be making educational technology easy for you. There we go. This is now my tagline and as you can see, is instantly present on my website. So a header and footer is really great to use when you want consistent design across all pages of your website. Now using the Wix ADI editor, it is made super easy to tweak, edit and change your header and footer. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one. And there you go, using a header or footer on a Wix ADI website is very easy to do. And using these very simple steps, your website will look very professional. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow with our fourth video in our Wix ADI series.